Hey beautiful people, what is up and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Jamila. If this is your first time watching me, thank you for stopping by. If you've been here before, you know I love seeing you come back. So, as always, I love all things beauty, I love all things makeup, and I love all things skincare, and I especially love finding high-end and luxury beauty products at bargain prices. So if that's what you're interested in, keep on watching. Feel free to subscribe because we love finding ways to save money on expensive makeups. Yes, we do. So as you saw from the title of today's video, I will be focusing on how to make colorful eyeshadow corporate America friendly. Now, I had the idea for this video because I love eyeshadow i really do enjoy eyeshadow but i also work in a sort of corporate setting and i know sometimes it can seem inappropriate to use colorful eyeshadow in corporate settings and i really wanted to think of ways in which i could use my eyeshadow wear it to work and you know share with other people who are interested in using their collections and wearing it in work settings but are not comfortable with the like overly bright overly vibrant colorful looks so we're making corporate so we're making colorful eyeshadow corporate friendly you know no, I just want to like, you know, put in a disclaimer, like if you like eyeshadow and you can wear them to work, you should completely feel free to do that. Like you should be able to bring your entire self fully and completely to your job. But I also like completely understand that, you know, it could be distracting depending on the environment that you work in. But that doesn't necessarily mean that you have to give up wearing colorful eyeshadow completely. So I wanted to come up with one quick look on how you can wear colorful eyeshadow, you know, in workplace settings that isn't going to be too out there and over the top. And when it comes to wearing colorful eyeshadow, I did have like a couple rules, like not really rules, but a couple of suggestions when thinking about like how you would wear your collection. And the main thing for me is that I try to stick away from like the overly glittery sort of shimmy, shimmery, like um, in your face shadows, you know? because those do call a ton of attention to your eyes. And I found that it's easier to focus on these sort of softer looks, the more satin shimmers that are really just sort of classic and classy and like super sophisticated. So for today's look, I will be creating or recreating one of my favorite looks using the Tom Ford African Violet Quad. Now you would have seen this quad in my top eyeshadow palettes for spring and I just love this color story. As you can see, it's definitely not the most colorful color story you could go with, but it is, you know, pretty out there as far as eyeshadows go. Um, it's not a neutral palette. It has a beautiful purple, that really nice orange. So it could be deemed colorful. But what I love about this palette and Tom Ford shadows specific specifically, <laughs> specifically, is how soft they are. I think all of his shadows are extremely appropriate for, you know, sort of work settings, corporate settings, because they're really soft. They tend to be some of these satin, satin mattes um, with, with, with like topper shades. So you don't get that like crazy in your face, dual chrome shadow look, but you get these really nice, subtle, like glowy looks because of the, because the mattes aren't pure mattes, they're more like satin mattes. So you get a little bit of shimmer, but not too much for it to go crazy. So what I want to do is create a really nice halo eye using these shadows and show you all how I like to wear colorful shadow to work. So let's dive right in. So using my refer number 27, I'm going to go in into this orange sort of peachy shade first and use that as my transition color within the crease. Let me scooch in so y'all can really get up close and personal with these eyes. And Tom Ford's shadows literally blend like a dream. can see that really nice peachy transition color that we have here it's really soft it's not overpowering you don't get this like bright orange or bright peach it's just really just sort of gorgeous soft eyeshadow on the eyes already next I'm gonna go in with another crease brush this is from chic pro I picked this up at like five below really good brush I think this was like three dollars and I'm going, I'm going to go in with this deep sort of brown shade here and deep not decrease very, very slightly. So what I like 
about this one is that it has really, really like micro glitters in there that give it a little bit of that shimmer look compared to the peach, which is a, you know, just pure matte shade. This one is a sort of more satin shade, so it's matte, but with that little bit of shimmer in there. And that creates a really, really nice look. So using sort of the peach and the dark brown, I feel like I've created a really nice sort of gradient here from that really light peach to that kind of like deeper brown. It's not as deep as some browns can be. So if you are looking for a ton of depth, I don't think that you get it. But I do think that it creates a really beautiful, beautiful sort of gradient. And now let's go into the purple. So with my Marc Jacobs, the shadow brush, I'm going to dip into the really, really like, you know, rich purple. And I'm going to add that to the inner half and the outer half of my eye. And we're going to start by sort of, you know, picking that up on the brush, tapping it onto the lid and then blending it out. go in with your finger into the purple shade and use that to tap it onto the lid to get more pigment but because I'm trying to keep this you know look appropriate and look friendly I'm just gonna use the brush so that it is a little bit of a softer pigment I don't want it to be too bright I don't want it to be too in your face so we're just gonna stick with the brush for today Lastly, I'm gonna go into the gold topper shade and tap and take that onto my fingers, tap it into the middle of the eye to create that halo eye look. This is a topper shade, and by that I mean like you don't get a ton of pigment. So you can see here it's not very it's not very pigmented. But you do get a really nice sort of shimmer. So going in with my finger, picking up that product and then tapping it onto the center of the lid to create, to finish up this halo eye. And then to kind of finalize this eye, what I'm gonna go do next is I'm gonna go back into the deep brown and the peach shade and use that to blend out the edges so that we have a really nice gradient going from the peach to the deep brown to this purple so that it's not these harsh lines of separation. So again, taking the brush that I used for that deep brown, dipping very, very slightly into it and using that to blend out the edges of the purple. back with my Ruffa into the peach to blend that out even further and bring some of that peach shade back. Um, I think what happens a lot of times with transition shades is that they can disappear when you start layering on, layering on top of it. So you do have to like go in sometimes to, to bring it back. And because I do love this peach color, I really want it to be kind of prominent in this look as well. Yeah, 
I want to make sure that that peach doesn't get lost because I think it's such a beautiful shade. And you can always keep going back into the different colors as you need to and blending them in and out to make sure that you have the gradient that you want. So I'm also going back in with the purple to get that really nice gradient that I want. Okay, so now this eye is looking exactly, exactly how I want it to look. Let me come in a little bit closer for you guys to see. So I'm going to replicate this on this eye and then come back to finish up the look and show you guys the final product. Okay, so I'm back and I have evened out the eyes so you guys can see that I have that purple halo eye on both eyes. Now when it comes to having most of look appropriate eyeshadows, what I like to do to finish up my eye look is to go in with a brown eyeliner instead of a black because it's a little bit less harsh in my opinion. So I'm going to go add some eyeliner, add some mascara, throw on a quick lip and be right back to finish out the end of this video. Okay guys, I am back and this is the final look. Okay, so <laughs> I did go a little bit rogue on the lipstick, so this is definitely a lot brighter than I would typically wear for work. To be quite honest, I don't even like wearing lipstick and I usually will just wear a gloss, but I have so much lipstick in my collection, I actually really need to start using them. So I throw on a quick lip. Um, this is Amorous by MAC. And because it has like a nice little purple hue, I thought it would work well with the eyeshadow. But that's not what we're here for, right? So this is the final eye look for how you can wear color in a sort of corporate work professional setting. Now, I, I really love how this turned out. What I was going for was something that was nice, something that was soft and subtle and didn't draw too much attention or wasn't too distracting. And I really think that I achieved that with this look. So I wanted to come in and give you guys a nice close up of the final look which is a beautiful, beautiful halo eye created using the Tom Ford African Violet palette. This is one of my absolute favorite palettes for spring. It's one of my absolute favorite palettes, period, and definitely one that I am really excited to keep using because I think it just creates absolutely gorgeous looks, both for like, you know, more bold out there, but also really nice, really subtle looks that you can wear in any sort of second setting. And it's very appropriate for like work life, for corporate America, for, you know, those types of settings. <laughs> I hope you guys liked this final look. You can always switch up the lipstick and keep it a little bit more neutral <laughs> to tone everything down. But like I said, I wanted to play a little bit and go, go a little rogue here. Anyways, I hope you guys like this look. If you did, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. Leave a comment down below if there are specific palettes that are more colorful palettes that you feel comfortable using in sort of everyday wig settings. And I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye.